Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta, learn form validation by building a calorie counter. Step 73. All right. So we also need to get the value of our budget ID input. We already queried this at the top of our code, and now we're going to set it to the budget number input variable. However, we used get element by ID, which returns an element and not a node list. All right. So a node list is an array like object, which means we can iterate through it and it shares some common methods with an array. For our get calories from inputs function, an array will work for the argument just as well as a node list does. All right. Uh, so we're going to declare a budget calories variable and set it to the result of calling get calories from inputs. And we're going to pass an array containing our budget number input as the argument, right? So we're going to put an, an array with this thing inside of it, right? So, so budget calories, get calories from it. Okay, so let's just take this to start off with, all of 49 to the end of 48. Let's copy that, drop it off right here. And let's turn this exercise calories to budget budget calories, all right? Now let's take this one from up here because it's a little bit different than what's inside of this thing, right? So what we're gonna put in here is this, but we're also gonna wrap it in an array like that because it says pass an array containing our budget number input as the argument, all right? And that should take care of it. So let's check the code, looks good, and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 74 and we'll see you next time.